In this problem, we have to perform the multiplication here. So what is all of this? So these bars denote what's called the modulus. So if you have a complex number, a plus bi, the modulus is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. This is called the modulus of a complex number. So if you have a complex number in the plane and say it's here, a plus bi, and you were to draw a vector whose initial point is at the origin and its terminal point is at the complex number a plus bi, the modulus of the vector could be thought of uh, as the length of the vector. In fact, it's pretty easy to derive it uh, using the theorem of Pythagoras. So extra extra life knowledge. Okay, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do this problem. So first I am going to get rid of this minus because the formula has a plus. So I'm going to write this as follows. 3 plus negative 4 and then i and then we have our little bar here and then times I'll put a dot there for times just to create some space between what we have here okay so now let's apply the formula to this first piece here so this is equal to the square root of so we'll square the a so that'll be 3 squared plus and now we're going to square the b, so that'll be negative 4 squared, just like that, which is 16, right? And there's no i. You might say, where's the i go? It's, it's gone, right? The, the formula gets rid of the i. There's no i here. So then times the square root of, same thing here, our a is 4, so this will be 4 squared plus, and then our b is 3, so this will be 3 squared, just like that. Good stuff. All right, this is equal to the square root of, this is nine plus 16, and this here is 16 plus nine. Oh, how cool. So this will be the square root of 25 times the square root of 25. Oh, look at that, we're almost done. Which is five times five, which is 25. So the final answer is 25, so. Yeah, that's it. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.